When I think of holiday wreaths, I think of holiday wreaths you can eat, because I'm always thinking about things to put in my mouth. For the Holiday Baking Championship, the bakers were asked to tap into a seasonal trend, create edible holiday wreaths. Cool, right? So here's one you can try at home. My Madeline wreath with sour cherry mousse. It looks like a holiday wreath, but instead of leaves, we're using green tinted madelines. Here's how you make them. So madeline batter is typically a genoise or a French butter cake. And you start out by whipping some eggs. Whenever you're whipping eggs, you're usually whipping egg whites. Here you're whipping the whole egg. It's gonna whip up, it's gonna get really frothy and really, really like a light buttery color. Once you start getting some foam on top, that's when we'll start adding the sugar. Okay, see those eggs getting really nice and fluffy in there? Just add it really, really slowly, and you're basically tempering the eggs and letting them know that they're about to get sweet. Just gonna add a pinch of salt. Now we're really nice and fluffy here. You can turn it down a little bit. And add just two teaspoons of vanilla. Here's about a teaspoon of lemon zest. Now, we're gonna bake Madeleines for breakfast. We leave them as they are. But since we're making a wreath, we gotta make them green. <laughs> Listen, man, food coloring is fun. You know, you can put food coloring in something like a madeleine and make something really cool. People like eating food that's a weird color, if it makes sense. Like, you don't want to eat a green steak, but green madeleines, I think that's okay. <laughs> okay, so now we got nice, fluffy, whipped eggs. Let's make a genoise. So, what you have to do is a lot of very, very gentle folding. So into these eggs, we're gonna fold two cups of all-purpose flour. Here I have a cup of melted butter. I'm gonna slowly and gently fold from the top. Because you're taking your time with this cake, this is what's gonna give you that beautiful texture of a madeleine. Madeleines are really special cookies. If you read Proust, you'll know what I'm talking about. And you really take your time with madeleines and you're gonna get a delicious texture. So anyway, these things are pretty to make. They're pretty to look at, and they're pretty to eat. That is a good looking batter. Now the thing about Madelines, you gotta pipe them into the molds and get them in the oven right away. Okay, and then gently, without a lot of force. You're gonna need a lot of Madelines to make this reef, but you're also gonna need a lot of Madelines to feed everybody. These things go fast. 375 for about 15 minutes. Okay, so let's talk about cream cheese mousse. Now the cream cheese is room temperature. It's really, really important. If it's cold, this will take forever and you'll get big old chunks. Cream cheese is a great base for a mousse because it's super, super stable. I'm gonna start adding some sugar. Now you can use a stand mixer for this. The thing is, it's always gonna be a kid around. The kid's always gonna wanna lick the beaters. I like the beaters. Nice and whipped up here. We'll turn this up a little bit. Now you're cooking with gas. Teaspoon of vanilla. And in there, you. A little salt. Now we're all incorporated. Let's deal with our cherries. These are sour cherries. Sour cherries are an awesome holiday flavor. I'm gonna pull out a bunch of cherries, but I'm also gonna use about two tablespoons of the cherry juice. And the syrup itself is really sour, so what I'm gonna do is taste as I go. So these cherries are doing triple duty here. They are color, they are texture, and they're flavor. Okay, so that looks good. Some nice chunks of cherry. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Get it, give it a whirl. Now I'm gonna add some kirsch. It's really gonna make the flavor really deep. That's gonna be delicious. To make this into a mousse, I'm gonna fold in whipped cream. Again with the folding. Here's the thing, this is a very delicate dessert. All these things take a really light touch. This is a really fun recipe to do when you're really trying to practice your baking skills. That's looking really nice. Let's give this a little wet fur. Okay, so we're all set. The mousse is nice and cool. All my cookies have cooled and they're nice and bright green. Now we're ready to build a wreath. The mousse is the glue that's gonna hold the whole wreath together. My wreath is about this wide. Cool. 
Now we can start placing cookies. Now all that's left is decorating. I'm gonna put a nice big bow on here. I'm gonna put a couple of maraschino berries and we're gonna make it snow. Okay, so the first decoration we're gonna make for the wreath is gonna be a modeling chocolate bow. So here I made a big block of modeling chocolate and then I dyed it red. Working with modeling chocolate, you wanna make sure it's warm enough that you can use it, but it's not so warm that it's gonna melt. There's a sweet spot, you gotta find it. When you're rolling out modeling chocolate with a rolling pin, what you wanna do is start out with no parchment paper on top just to get it nice and flat. Cut it into strips and wrap it around this paper towel tube, and that's gonna be our bows. To make the bows stick together, just use a tiny, tiny bit of water. You guys, you can totally do this at home. All you need is household items and modeling chocolate. Super easy. That's ready for the fridge. These are maraschino cherries. So I got a whole bowl here that I've drained out. All the liquid is gone. I'm gonna use the cherries as the little berries inside the wreath. The cool thing is you got madelines with a sour cherry mousse. Adults are gonna love that. Then you dot these little maraschinos all over there and the, all the kids are gonna eat the maraschino cherries. There's something for everybody. Yeah, and the color of these cherries really pops. You don't want to overdo it. So check on that chocolate. A little tie for our bow. Almost done. Got to make it snow. There you go. Christmas wreath. It's pretty enough to hang up on the wall, but a wreath this delicious, probably want to keep it on the plate. So for my holiday wreath recipes and more, go to foodnetwork.com slash Duff Sweet Spot.